What a beauty. First time dead baiting, is it? Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Hello makeshifters, today we're making hot glue half and half jig. I have a jig hook and device, it's decoy, it's jig 11 in size 4 out. I'm going to use sewing orange thread. I brought the thread between the hook point and the hook barb. Now we need a dumbbell eye. Let's make it. Lead eye is ready. It's a 7mm lead eye. It's going to be quite heavy. If you want to see a full video on how to make it, I'll leave the link in the description. We're going to attach it an eye length away from the band. So it's 7mm. So it's going to be 7mm away from the band. Now we will apply some bucktail, and you have the base of the tail and the tip of the tail. Near the base of the tail there are fibers that are hollow, and if you're going to apply them, they're going to flare. So it's better if you use fibers that are near the tip of the tail. They are solid, and you can tie them down really well, and the tail won't be flared out. I got about a toothpick thickness, or maybe toothpick and a half and cut it near the base. Now hold it near the tip of the fibers and pull any short fibers out. And then what you can do, you can put it in a hair stacker or you can also do it by hand. Pull out the long fibers and reposition them. To make all the fibers even. We need this bucktail so it will split the feathers that we're going to tie in afterwards. And the longest thing will be the feather. So the bucktail we want sticking out about there. So let's say if that's the length of the hook, that should be okay. I got four rooster feathers. You can use any feather, but these ones are from a cape. These are feathers near the neck or just below the neck. I'm going to get two feathers, line them up, even the tips. The way I know the length of the feather tail, I measure the hook. And then it's two lengths of the hook. I'm just going to build up the thread so it shows up orange and the body is covered. Look at how interesting the tail is. If you look at it from above, it's non-existent, very flat. And if you look at it from the side, it gives a good silhouette. I got green marker. Let's color the back. The 
this is just your normal hot glue gun that uses your regular hot glue sticks. With the flame of this candle, I'm going to remelt the glue and make it smooth. I have wet the feathers with water so they don't burn so easy. You see the glue turning less transparent, it's hardening. Let me check the feathers. Yeah, nothing burnt, they still in there firmly. Here we go guys, it's not perfect, but it's going to protect the body, give it 3D effect and make the lure heavier, so we can cast it with a spinning rod. I got four strands of crystal flash. I got red bucktail, cleaned and stacked in the same way as the yellow one. And I'm going to extend it into the middle of the feathered tail. I got black bucktail. Let's remelt the glue and smooth it off. We have to be really careful not to burn the bucktail. That is smooth enough. I'll just keep turning it until the glue cools down and hardens. Now we need some eyes. Let's make it. I got the eye. If you want to see a full video on how to make it, I'll leave the link in the description. Now I'm going to color this part with red varnish.
Here we go, it's going to be a bleeding gill. Let's apply some varnish on the eyes to give it extra shine. Lures are ready, let's check size and weight. It is pushing around 10, 10.5 centimeters. It is weighing around 5.6 grams. Let's put them in the box and take them out fishing. We are out on the water again with my good friend Roman. He have kindly drove us here today to the Shannon again and we could not find a place for ages to park up and fish as it was all flooded. We were trying to get to a new spot and what we didn't realize that the road will be flooded. This is not a river. This is a field leading up to the river and look at that. And luckily we found this spot and today we are going to try my new freshly made half and half hot glue jig and see what we can do. Look at that guys, River Shannon, pike, perch, Brown trout, bream, roach, tench. Roman got a pike, guys. Oh, wow, looks like a big one. The way, the way it's hooked, or is it from previous time? I think it's. Oh, that's a good one. I got them. Wow, that's a good one. That's a good one, my man. Oh. I think it's. The gills? Yeah. Okay. Man. How, I sit down to have a cup of coffee, I look down. My float is gone. <laughs> that's unbelievable. Wow. Oh. Will you take a picture? That's unbelievable, yeah. Beauty. Oh, no oh. way, 84. Wait, bottom lip. 85. That's Can you take a picture on the mat? Yeah. From the top, please. Happy days. Wow, 80, 84 centimeters. That's unbelievable. Can you take my scales out? Yeah. Sorry buddy, will it, will it survive? Yeah. It's a pike, it's strong fish, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 84, that's unbelievable. But I don't think I damaged it. Look, this side has only two gills. You okay, buddy? Yeah, no, definitely, because your hooks were hooked on the other side. And plus, uh, two of the gills are missing. Yeah, this, this gill plates were damaged yeah, before you, my man. First time dead baiting, is it? Oh. <laughs> Look at that! It def oh. Definitely going to survive. I'm so happy, man. I got happy one. days. And you know where I got it? Drifting over there, man. Look at that, guys. So many ducks. Got 
thumbs up. Very nice. <laughs> bite of a small pike unbelievable okay guys the day is coming to an end it's dark already I don't know if you can see anything I can barely see myself was an interesting day first blank of the year the year started off great it was too good so after good times there have to be blank times also today was a struggle we went to two spots they were both flooded and then we managed to find this spot that's not flooded I tried my new half and half hot glue jig it works well, didn't catch me anything but it's only a matter of time as this is one of them lures that I already love the shape and the size and the way it looks and the way it moves so catching fish on it, it's only a matter of time Roman did great, he caught a 85 centimeter pike that was pretty cool so I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna take some rest and perhaps next outing we're gonna go to the canal to try to catch something with our hot glue half and half